Ken Surfs here with another shave video. Well, I uh, had a good successful shave yesterday with the Dorco uh, starter kit, a wet shaving starter kit, but I really want to give these blades a try, a second try. It worked great yesterday in the Dorco razor, but uh, today I'm going to use those Dorco ST301 blades in my long handled Mercure. So that way I'm a little comfortable with a little more comfortable with this razor. So I want to see how it'll do. And I will be using the uh, K Shave Works. Here comes the Sun Shave uh, Soap today. And I will be using the Fine American Blend Aftershave. And for the brush, got it soaking right here. We'll be using the Simpson Chubby One. So, uh, and speaking of brushes, I want to thank. Uh, uh, Mr. Jonah Shaw and Mr. Anthony McKenzie Jr. They've been giving me great advice on restorations on uh, old brushes. I saw that Hunter Green video where uh, he had received a, a, a Ever Ready brush that had been restored by Anthony. Now this is the one I'm going to be restoring. This is a C40 Ever Ready and the bristles are just falling out of it. So this is the one I'm going to be restoring. And if you notice on it, uh, Anthony was real helpful yesterday. He uh, was telling me, you can see there's a ridge around the uh, top here, uh, the seam from where the plastic was formed. And there is another ridge, let's see here. I don't know if you can see right there. It goes vertical on the bottom. And he showed me how to sand that out, get rid of that and get it all prepped how to do the knot. I'm waiting for the knots to arrive and I'm going to do this brush. But I was able to do some polishing. I don't know if you saw, I got the Vintage 150 Ever Ready the uh, other day. And if you notice, I took the seam out and this brush had faded pink all around here. So with a uh, ton of different sandpapers and actually I didn't want to damage this uh, original head. So I ended up using some uh, steel wool too and then some uh, flitz polish, and I got rid of that, looks red now, got rid of that, that pink, got it all shined up nice. So thank you very much, gents, for that. And I'm looking forward to doing the resto on this brush and on this one. So I've got the, uh, the, uh, the new knots coming, and uh, we'll do that next. But in the meantime, let's get ready for the shave. All right, I've got the uh, pre-shave on, the Parasso, and uh, this is lathering up nice. This is a super badger chubby one. So uh, I've used it before, really like it. And I'm going to do it the painting motion because I did read the instructions and they said don't do the swirling motion on the Simpsons. You could cause the bristles to fall out. Oh, that shave soap smells really good. I'm hoping my neck is uh, healed up completely now, so I might shave a little lower. I told you I cut it up pretty good the other day. All right, but I'm really interested in these Dorco blades in a razor, I know. And they align real good. Very nice. Man, that soap smells great. Citrus galore. Rotating it. Someone had observed that uh, I don't rotate it enough and uh, they're correct. Nice first pass. Oops. Like you're painting a fence, right?
these blades feel nice and mild. They did a good job. Yeah, they did do a good job. Okay, let's get rinse off here. No nicks. Very nice. I will tighten up the pores today with this though. It's not stinging, so I mustn't have cut myself. All right. Fine. <sighs> Feel the burn. Uh, that smells great too. Well, now I can say I've successfully taken the Dorco 301s for a good test and uh, very pleased. So no cuts at all. I'm looking forward. Uh, one of the viewers is going to send me some of those uh, uh, Dorco Primes, uh, Platinums. So I'm, I'll be uh, doing a video on that and I do appreciate that too. All right. Well, thanks very much for watching and I uh, hope the rest of the week goes good for you. It's almost the weekend. Until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night and thanks again for watching.